not ask which creature screams in the night. Do not question who waits for you in the shadow. It is my cry that wakes you in the night, and my body that crouches in the shadow. I am Zinj, and you are the puppet that dances to my tune. From the Book of Zinj. Zinj, also known as the Changer of Ways, the Lord of Change, Lord of Sorcery, the Lord of Entropy, the Great Conspirator, the Weaver of Destinies, and the Architect of Fate. Among many other names and titles is the god of change, evolution, mutation, intrigue, ambition, knowledge, sorcery, destiny, lies, and trickery. Zinj is especially empowered by the desire for change and ambition for advancement among mortals. Its true power is sorcery. And as all sorcery flows from the fawn of the Immaterium, so too is Zinj, the master of that twisted, chaotic medium of psychic energy. Zinj embodies mortals' tendency towards mutability and change, the drive to evolve and manipulate. This spirit is present in the essence of every living creature, from the first division of cells in the womb, to the ultimate craving for survival. It is in the hearts of those with the strongest desire to prevail that Zinj whispers its insidious promise, offering a means of life eternal to those unwilling to accept death and oblivion as inevitable. It is also Zinj that weaves the threads that connect every action, plot, and subtle intrigue in a galaxy-wide game of manipulation and subterfuge. At the end of each of these threads lies the ensnared soul of a human puppet, those of Zinja's mortal servants and agents who believe they serve the Lord of Sorcery in mutually beneficial pacts. The truth is that Zinja's every action is planned with its ultimate goal as its own establishment as the preeminent chaos power in the realm of chaos the ultimate victor in the great game. Of course, the very nature of the Lord of Entropy is such that were it to attain this triumph, it would still strive for turmoil and change. In many ways, Zinj is both the best and least understood of the Dark Gods. It is the God of Fate plots and schemes, as well as the god that exemplifies the ever-changing nature of the warp. However, Zinj does not plot towards some end, at least none that can be comprehended. It schemes simply to scheme. It is constantly building, even as its devices unravel under their own complexity. At the same time, it is the god of knowledge and comprehension, and its devotees may be those who seek a deeper understanding of an often enigmatic universe. Zinj is known by a hundred thousand titles across the galaxy, amongst them the Weaver of Destiny, the Great Conspirator, and the Architect of Fate. In its mind, it listens to the hopes and desires for change of every sentient being from every planet in the universe. It watches over the plans of its playthings as they unfold into history, toying with fate and fortune, both for its own entertainment and to further its unfathomable schemes.
It feeds upon and is empowered by the mortal emotions of need and desire for change that are an essential part of all life in the universe. All people dream of prosperity, freedom from injustice, and a better tomorrow. These dreams are not just the preserve of the impoverished or the powerless. Even Imperial planetary governors and Imperial Navy battle fleet admirals dream of further riches, or perhaps even an end to their responsibilities to the Emperor. All these dreams and desires create a powerful impetus for change, and the ambitions of nations create a force that can challenge history. Zinj is the embodiment of that force within the Immaterium. It was the second of the Chaos Gods to come to full sentience within the Warp, Sometime during Old Earth's European medieval period in the second millennium, its birth marked the maturation of human nations and politics with all their implicit intrigues and double dealings. Zinch is not content to merely observe the fulfillment and disappointment brought by the passage of time. It has its own plans schemes that are so complex and closely woven that they touch the lives of every living thing, whether they realize it or not. The Chaos God's masterly comprehension of time, history and intrigue allows its ploys to intertwine seamlessly, forming a web of casualty that spans the stars. Zinch is aware of the visions and plans of all mortals in the galaxy. It takes great delight in the plotting and politicking of others and favors the cunning over the strong. When the inner voice in a person's head speaks, when the desperate whisper their prayers into the night, it is the architect of fate that listens. It perceives every event and intention, and from this information, its mighty mind can work out how each will influence the future. The intertwining lattice work of probability, hope, and change is Zinch's meat and drink. Without it, it would eventually fade away. Perhaps the Architect of Fate has plans to overthrow the other Chaos Gods, or to extend its dominion over all the mortal realms. Perhaps not even Zinj itself can say for sure. Whatever its ultimate goal, it seeks to achieve it by manipulating the individual lives of human and Xenos alike. By offering the power of knowledge and sorcery, it can recruit influential Chaos Warlords and Magi to its cause, affecting the lives of many more at a single stroke. However, few of its plans are ever simple. Some span eons with their complexity, whilst many appear contradictory to others, or even against its own interests. Only Zinj can see the threads of potential futures weaving through time like tangled skeins of multi-colored cords, cords which themselves are made of decision, happenstance, and fluke. The Lord of Change is the undisputed master of sorcery in the universe. Sorcery is one of the most potent agents of change, and those who use it are amongst the most ambitious and hungry for power. 
The raw psychic energy that empowers the psychers of the mortal realm is the actual fabric of the realm of chaos. The same fabric that makes up the ruiners' powers, their demon servants, and the shadow selves of mortal consciousness that flicker in the warp and that humanity calls souls. The use of psychic power, or magic as it can rightly be called, is held as the ultimate expression of faith among Zinj's followers, who have much to gain from its patronage. Though it would likely cost them their mortal souls, they would at least have boundless power to show for it while they live. This is in stark contrast to the poor, wretched psychers of the Imperium of Man, who are corralled by the Inquisition's black ships and brought to Terra where many of them feed the dying Emperor's boundless hunger for psychic energy to power the Astronomicon. In Zinja's eyes, mortal creatures are immeasurably steeped in ambiguity, yet they somehow wage their personal wars completely unaware of the countless contradictions in their souls. Zinj cannot help but dabble in the mortal realm. Some amongst the Inquisition believe that the Great Conspirator is responsible for the exponential increases of psychic ability in the human species in recent millennia. Its own need to manipulate and control, and its desire to increase its own power in the warp, Zinj is eternally playing the great game waged amongst its brother Chaos Gods. The Architect of Fate is not above sullying its own claws with the bloody business of war. Though it much prefers to win its battles through guile and sorcery rather than brute force. Consumed by its own ineffable thoughts, it binds the galaxy in the weave of its complex schemes just as a spider binds a fly. Though its schemes can take Tehran millennia to unfold, when they do come to fruition, it is usually reality itself that pays the price. While one mortal lies to another, while envy and ambition survive among humans and aliens, Zinj will work its magic as the puppet master of the universe, working towards the day when its final great work will be revealed. It exerts its influence in the mortal realm through subtle manipulation and devious ploys. The victims of its corruption are sorcerers drawn by the promise of forbidden knowledge, scholars who seek knowledge at all costs, politicians lured by the power knowledge provides to outmaneuver their opponents. Zincha's sacred number is nine. Its colors are typically seen as blue and gold, but an ever-changing rainbow of color is appropriate as well, thus giving the name of the Lord of Change's demonic armies, the Scintillating Legions.